the helicopters. Wow, we're higher than the helicopters. So those giga digits yeah. are coming down into this area. We just need to turn that power off. All right. And why is there a trash bag over the power pedestal? Not every park has a cover. Oh. When tears turn down my face, my mama said, All the nights that end in heartbreak gonna pay off someday. And the pain that you're feeling gradually fades away. Cause growing up, falling Hi. in love, giving your all might not be enough. Just trust your head and your heart. That's what my mama said. Weeks and months and years they <laughs> She's scared of heights. Let the ride begin. So it is eight o'clock at night. And Sophia said that the milk tastes bad. We come to find out that the entire refrigerator isn't working. Mm -hmm. So now we're taking everything out to save it as much as we can, put it in the outside refrigerator and then try to figure out what is going on with this fridge at eight o'clock at night. So we know that we're not going to be able to get the parts to fix it. We don't even know what's wrong with it. So I got to troubleshoot it, diagnose it, figure out what's wrong with it, go see if there's a part anywhere in the city that we're in and then go from there. So I'm kind of glad we have a backup fridge outside, but it's definitely not big enough to take the entire everything we have in here so yeah yeah thank goodness we have a fridge outside because i don't know what we would do and i think we do need to uh, take all the ice out of the tray out of the freezer i don't know if it's going to stay cool enough that's we great a big old puddle of ice coming out of the that's true I forgot, forgot all about that yeah it's what's keeping it cold right now but it's I definitely know. gonna it's whatever. definitely gonna melt. I just don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and have a huge puddle, you know? Yeah. So, it is what it is. Always something. <laughs> yep, it's already starting to melt. Oh no. Instead of throwing it out, I'm gonna put it in Ziploc bags and put it back in there. To keep it colder longer so important tip don't just throw it all out because we got to keep it as cold as we can for as long as we can and it's not great right now so we're using our oven that doubles as a bread storage we've never used this oven before what are you looking for uh, all right mama Oh, that's a good idea. I know, right? Yeah. Put them in. Is it melting? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We had to turn the lights on. Um, we were already in dinner and movie mood, so <laughs> it was kind of dark in here. But, yeah, so if the condenser is not working, the freezer, like, none of it is being cooled, right? Right. Yeah, because the, but obviously the freezer feels a lot colder than the fridge because there's still all this frozen stuff in there. Exactly. Well, so. well the problem is it's getting warmer and warmer by the minute. Yeah. So yeah. I went outside, I went to the back, I looked and the fan is blowing. You can see it as soon as you open the door in the back. So we have an idea. It's either the relay and the starter pack that's attached to the outside of the condenser or it's the actual condenser itself. There's good and bad news. The relay is about $12. Now, if you've, if you've been watching the channel, before we had our water heater go and we narrowed it down to an $11 relay. Yeah. If it's a relay on the fridge, that's great. I can go to a parts store, get it. It's pretty simple. If it's not the relay, I think the condenser runs about how much? $500? About $500. Mm -hmm. So it's still cheaper than a new fridge. Oh, it's definitely cheaper than a new fridge, but still. It's $500. Do they have used condensers? I guess that's... Or, or, or compressors, not condensers. Compressors. Oh. Not condenser. Compressor. compressor. 
Yeah, the condenser, I don't even know the difference. No, but... it's the compressor. I kept saying okay. condenser. It's the compressor oh. that's not clicking over. Oh, yeah. okay. So the compressor, yeah, I saw one website. Well, some of them said 120, then all of a sudden that went to 500. So I don't know. I guess it depends on the fridge size. I guess it depends on the fridge. Yeah, so we'll find out. I'm pretty sure that the one we have is going to be the uh, the $500 compressor. Well, hopefully it's just a relay. Hopefully it's just a relay. Let's get lucky twice. Let's go out there with a the multimeter and find out. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, let's first, <laughs> let's save the fridge. Yes. <laughs> So is it still warm out there? Warm out where? So you were saying the fridge is... Oh, no. So yesterday I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking, there's a dial on the outside fridge and I turned it down instead of up. I turned it to three instead of turning to seven, thinking, oh, the lower the number, the colder it is. I don't know. Oh, oh my. <laughs> it was a very confusing night, okay? So we're definitely having refrigerator problems. Yes. <laughs> but yes, I'm hoping the half and half is still good for your coffee. Thirty-four. It's better than. It should be zero. Yeah. So it's warming up. Yeah. And that should be thirty-seven. Oh, hold on. I have to. What do I do to get? Pull the trigger. Because no, you pointed over here. Oh. It's a laser. <laughs> it has a laser. <laughs> so you just measured the I'm not <laughs> you, you measured the coffee maker. Fifty-five. Yep. So it's because it was cold last night and I didn't have the heater on. It stayed cool. In the fridge? Yeah. The fridge is insulated. <laughs> it has nothing to do with out here. <laughs> So even if it's cold or warm in your rig, it's not really going to do anything to inside your fridge. Well, that's <laughs> called science, right? Science. <laughs> it was a theory. So finally, after six months, we got a grooming appointment. So this time, I won't be doing it myself. This time, we're going to have a professional groomer take off their hair. So I'm just trying to pre-brush them. I don't know what tip it did. But he's got big old knobs in his tail. So I went out last night and I troubleshot the entire system using my trusted multimeter. If you guys don't have one, definitely go get this. It saved me a couple of times. So one of the first things you find is this relay, two things. One, between those two terminals right here, we should actually reach some kind of connection between them. The second is that if you shake the relay, I'm shaking the camera. If you shake the relay, you shouldn't hear anything. And I don't know if you can hear that. I'm shaking everything. You can hear that it's actually something rattling around in there. So that's pretty much a tall tale sign. So if it if you shake your relay and it's you know things are jittering around in there or shaking around, that's your first sign. And then test it to make sure that those two terminals right here, that there's actually something reading between them. Let me show you. So I've taken the two leads and I've stuck them into the relay and you can see that we're getting 36, 37 mega ohms and that's not good. So, so it should actually read that. That's what it should read, but it's not reading. It's reading mega ohms. So both tests failed. This is pretty much the culprit that we that we figure out now. We tried to go to Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Ace. They don't carry these. We actually went there and they said that they don't carry that. And I don't know if that's because uh, appliances, appliance parts, you have to go to appliance repair people. So we're gonna try two places. We're gonna try appliance uh, parts stores 
and we're gonna go to an RV store and we're gonna see if we can't find this little tandem two right here and put this back on today and then see if our troubleshooting actually works. So I have no idea. I have no idea where to get this. We're gonna find it and we're gonna take you along the way. So let's go find it. So when he was saying we are going to get the refrigerator part, he meant me. I actually had to uh, drop off the dogs at uh, PetSmart for grooming. So now I'm going to be on the hunt for a relay something for the refrigerator. Uh, luckily, I have pictures and he gave me the part. So hopefully um, we'll be lucky enough to find it today or we're going to have to cook everything in the freezer, I guess. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I just made it to the uh, appliance store. So uh, I'm about to go in uh, with my part and hopefully I'll be able to uh, explain it to him like Lee would, which I doubt, but at least I have the part with me. So we're gonna head in now. I was successful. No way. Kind of. <laughs> I hope. You found it. Well, yes. So um, I got there and at first he said, well, yeah, we don't have those. We just sold out. We had the last one yesterday. I was like, oh no. And then he said, well, before you leave, let me check if this uh, condenser, co capacitor, capacitor, flux capacitor, flux capacitor, <laughs> <laughs> is if it works because he has a different kind of a multi meter Mul multimeter yeah. but it's a different one he said with your regular one you wouldn't have been able to read it yeah I don't, know. I don't know but that's what he said so he read it and it was perfect he said so all i had to buy is the relay um whatever thing it does rattle too so i guess they're supposed to rattle did he verify it yeah and he said it was bad uh, oh he didn't verify it but ah. he verified the flux capacitor Okay, so the flux capacitor is good. Now we can time travel. It. We have a we have a new relay. <laughs> so let's uh, put it in and see if we can have our fridge working again. Hey, you know, we're starting to get hungry. <laughs> you know what? I I hope it's that simple. Yes, me too. Let's go. Do we have to turn like the power off or anything? You can see. Oh, there's what? You can oh. see here that everything's leaking out. Oh yeah. So I'm glad we, we, we already know that, that the yeah that it's, oh how do we get that out of there? You're gonna have to use our new improved wet dry vac. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, I forgot. Do you think it can just suck up water suck it like all that? Out. That's why we got a wet dry vac. Oh, that's cool. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and kill power and then. Hook oh, this we do up. have to kill power. Yep. Just the just the battery power or all power? So this right here is AC. So we uh -huh. just have to shut AC off because that's what, co what comes from the motherboard down to these. What's this AC? Fan. AC power. DC? You're, you're killing AC? Me. I don't know. So those giga digits yeah. <laughs> are coming down into this area. We just need to okay. turn, the power, turn that power off. All right. And then plug this in and turn it back on. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. And why is there a trash bag over the power pedestal? Not every park has a cover. Oh. All right. Oh, what about the battery switch? Do I have to switch that off? No, because it's AC. Oh, okay. So right now the fan is off. Mm -hmm. We can measure this. It has nothing on it, but we already have. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. It's just like a plug then, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, that's on. We're gonna plug this in. Oh. All right, so that's in. Let's go ahead and turn power back on and see if it's gonna turn on. Please. Now we're gonna wait two minutes. Well, I'm gonna have to take my sweater off because it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, the Florida sun. That's amazing. Woo. 
It goes from freezing to I gotta take my sweater off. <laughs> you want me to go ahead and get the vacuum cleaner? Yeah, because we're it? we're gonna have to pull that water out. Yeah, that water is definitely filling up. All right. Well, that is working. You can feel it. Power's going. What are you doing? I science the heck out of this. Are you using a straw? To get the water out, I'm using a straw and letting it drain. Oh my gosh, that's ingenious. I would have never thought about that. I guess Why? I don't need my vacuum cleaner after all. Why would we mess up the shop vac? I've got a straw. That's awesome. Now I have to clean the filter. Perfect. Move a few times, put in, bit up in Nashville. Try to set on my restless soul. Got a job that felt like forever when I met you. You made me happy with dance through the night. Life was music and I was your wife. Time flies and the years went by. I think the best place for kids to eat a lollipop is the beach. They get sticky, you dunk them. Perfect. I guess I need to empty it. <laughs> really? I was wondering, I'm like, oh, I've been cooking a lot and I've been putting a lot of water down it. Maybe I need to check it. You think? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put the cover over it. That would have been a mess. That is hilarious. That is full to the brim. I know, it's like right at the, it's like an infinity pool for flies. <laughs> <laughs> for grease. It's our grease trap infinity pool. <laughs> what can I say? So we decided since we're here, we cannot pass up the biggest thing in Pier Park. So yeah. I'm speechless right now. I don't know if I made a mistake and I should just leave. <laughs> She's scared of heights. <laughs> yes. I, I think we need to relook at how we do things. I thought these things were like stable. Yeah. I didn't know they were. <laughs> It's a big wheel. Let the ride begin. All right, what do you girls think? Somebody likes funnel cakes. I'm so glad I do too. These are the best thing on the planet. Good. 
absolute best way to see the city. Yes. Seriously. Absolutely. Every time you go to a big place, travel across the country, and you see a Ferris wheel, noise? definitely take it. I just hope they're not gonna let us sit right on the top. So long. <laughs> I hope so. How do you feel? Scared. I don't mind when this uh, cab is moving, but it feels like when it's sitting, it's not supposed to do that. So is it? I don't know. I guess they have to let people off and on, so. All right, going round three? Uh, yeah, so we are keep, I, I guess we should have asked how long this is going to be going for because this is the third time it's going around now. So uh, I tell you what, it was definitely worth every penny. Actually, I think I prefer this over a helicopter ride because you kind of see the same thing, but it's not so loud and you're not so shaken. Mm -hmm. Not stirred. Not stirred. <laughs> see, see what I did there? Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> this is definitely pretty cool. Got it hands down. Yeah. Anytime you find a Ferris wheel, jump on it. It's so much fun. Yeah, that is awesome. I think I found the trick to not get sick, like from the heights. It's just look what you can see, don't look down. As long as I don't look down, I'm okay. So, and I think now this was our last round, so now they're letting people out again. You go one round where you, they're letting people in and out, and then you go another round where they're just going smooth. Like, no stopping. I like the no stopping. Please don't stop on the top. Just kidding. I just can't Well, we're higher than the helicopters. Helicopters. Yeah. Oh, those things are so high up. Hey, we made it. Time to go shopping. Let's do this.